Hey, what's up? Um, so to kind of recap where we are, um, we just went through the contraction process of skeletal muscle, okay? And we left off with ADP being ejected from the myosin head, all right? So we're gonna continue to follow that story today, specifically talk about the role of myokinase, okay? And talk about um, how this fits into kind of the overarching theme of why higher intensity exercise uh, may lead to better blood glucose control, why it makes sense to me, and uh, describing all those mechanisms. So we have ADP that's left the myosin head. It's been ejected from the myosin head, all right? Um, we have this enzyme, myokinase, in the cell relatively close to the now relatively close meaning like nanometers or what i don't even know if it's a measurable distance but relatively close to the um, actin and myosin where they are cross bridging and uncross bridging okay and what myokinase does is it takes two adps so this adp will go towards the myokinase and this adp will diffuse towards the myokinase and from there it produces one ATP and one AMP, okay? So the ATP then gets used back in the uh, muscle contraction process as we described in the last video. Uh, the AMP goes through a bunch of steps and eventually diffuses out of the cell, all right? Now, myokinase is a high KM enzyme. Okay, or it is a uh, it has a low affinity. So, in order for it to reach half of its maximum velocity, it needs a high high amount of its substrates present. Okay, that's what a high KM enzyme means. So, being a high KM enzyme, ADP are the substrates for this reaction to take place, where ATP and AMP are produced. In order for this to work faster and faster and faster there has to be a lot of this present, okay? Now, it's not that if there is not a lot of ADP present, this won't work at all. It'll just work slower. So myokinase is always working. It's always working. It's always doing these reactions, but the speed with which this happens, the frequency with which it produces an ATP and an AMP from two ADP, get faster and faster and faster the more substrates are present, okay? And it, it, there has to be a lot of it, a, a large volume of ADP present for it to start working fast, okay? So that's what that high KM enzyme concept is, um, is alluding to. The question is, one, why is this important? And two, how do we get a lot of ADP present so this thing works really fast? Well, I'm gonna answer the second one first and then I'll go and answer the first question. So the second question, how do we get a lot of ADP present? As we described last time, when these, this cross bridging process happens, ADP is ejected from the myosin head. This ATP is broken into ADP and P, and they both end up being ejected from the myosin head. So the frequency with which this cross bridging and uncross bridging process happens. Um, the number of times this cross bridging and uncross bridging process happens, uh, the greater those two, the more ADP will be produced and the more this reaction will take place. This reaction. So then back to the first question, why is that important? Well, it's important because of AMD diffusing out of the cell. Because what happens there is it gets to interact, make something called AMPPK. And that is gonna be the next step in this whole story, right there. 